today's video, I'm gonna be fixing a club that is bankrupt. I declare bankruptcy! And it's Derby County, who managed by Wayne Rooney, by the way, but they've had to endure so much. They're basically bankrupt because of that they had so many point deductions. And of course, that's basically led to them getting relegated to League One. We're gonna have to take this team to a Champions League final with barely any money. 80% of the squad have their contract expiring. I have no idea how we're gonna pull this off. Not gonna lie, I think this is gonna take eight or nine seasons. So sit back, relax, maybe get some coffee and snacks. This is gonna be a really long fixing challenge drop a like subscribe and let's go and also since derby county have been relegated in real life i've decided to start this challenge from efl league one so it's gonna take us a while even to get to the premier league let alone the champions league for season one this is the team we'll be working with now the good thing is there are a few talented players like bird bielik louis sibley in here who i can really count on knight as well but the squad is very very average boys it's not gonna be easy getting this team to the Premier League. The worst thing is we can't even use this money to bring in a youngster or something because we need to literally use all that cash to sit and renew all these players. So I don't think we're signing anyone in the first season. It's it's literally about surviving. Like I'm gonna have to just manually give contracts to all these players and they're probably gonna ask more money or else I can't renew their deal like this one. I'm literally sitting here and just renewing contracts right now. <laughs> it's, it's frustrating and I'm not even surprised most of the players don't even want to renew with us. Good news, I've managed managed to renew contracts for most of the players so we're sorted on that front for at least one season and we're still left with about 4.7 million i don't think it costed us that much renewing the contracts brilliant yo the academy is going to be vital for us i feel we're only going to be using these four players i guess and seeing how they develop daniel bullock is our homegrown player trust me he's going to be big in this challenge we're converting him to a striker because somehow he comes out with like insane shooting and pace what do we do with this 4.7 million i, I reckon we get a center back. Obviously, building from the back, I think, is, is key. Noah Mbaba is a player I've always wanted to try and career mode, but I never have. He's got insane potential. I reckon we can get him on a good deal as well. The player is not willing to relocate. I completely forgot. That's a problem you have to deal with when you're in the third division of English football. I was looking at a center back from Man City, even he doesn't want to join us. I think I found a player we can sign. So what I've basically done is I'm looking for players in the championship and league one. I think those are the only kind of players we can sign so ben wilmot from stoke city i don't mind signing a defender from stoke because we know their players can defend that's what they're known for 2.3 million to my offer they want bukin he's one of our more talented players you know so don't think i'm looking to you know sell him we will offer 2.35 million just to see what they say they want 3.5 wow i think i can negotiate this down to three three million pounds as our first signing they want 3.5 let's just do it he's 69 ready he's gonna be good i know that let's sign him up and there you go we We've made our first signing with Derby County. It's Ben Wilmot, a player I've never signed on career mode. We're going to put him right in that starting 11. Where's he gone? Ben Wilmot's that team is looking nice. If you look at this squad, the stars of this team, that midfield trio, Knight and Wilmot now as well. Those are like the star players in the bench. We've got a few more youngsters. Let's see how we fare in League One. I think we're good enough for the third division of English football with this team. Let's do this. We've still got money left, guys. I don't know what to do with I think we'll just keep it just in case. I don't know whether I should expect direct promotion because Derby County in real life were decent on the pitch. It's just that all those points deductions got the better of them and they just couldn't compete because of it. So I really think we should be smoothly getting promoted to, of course, the championship. Let's hope so. I wasn't wrong. This Derby County team, it was the financial issues that have caused all the problems. And look at that. We've, we've managed to secure direct promotion to the championship in the first season. 100 points. And I think player growth will be amazing from this season well not really for our striker he has been modded i completely forgot about our youth academy player man hope he's still there he is still there oh my god we need to promote him otherwise he's gonna run away converting him to a striker up to a 77 well guess what we've got him for the next season he's gonna be basically a starter for us let's go literally forgot about him man we can also make him a left midfielder he goes up to like a very good overall yo players from the academy are gonna be useful 
Look at Sibley up to a 73. The midfield is looking good. Our centre back has grown well. Look at Knight at 74. The growth's been there this season, man. Positive signs all round. We're going to put him in there. Bullock to lead the line for next season. That's like a signing in itself. I'm liking this, man. Absolutely. Lawrence was our top scorer with 31 goals. Fair play. Sibley did well. Knight as well. Not bad. Let's go. Derby County back in the championship for this season. I think it's still going to take us a while to get into the Prem because I don't think we're good enough yet. But we've got 10 million to spend, which we can certainly use. But again, we've got the same problem. So many players' contracts are expiring. We have to sit through and renew them. Oh, no. Looks like we're not getting any more academy players into our team, boys. Because, well, we'll get this guy in. But the other two have just abandoned ship. And look at that. Renewing contracts has brought our budget down to, let's say, 6, 7 million. That's how tough this challenge is financially. But yeah, for season two, the team is actually looking a lot better. That midfield is super high rated. We've got 9275. Bullock up top for this season. I, I reckon we've got a good season ahead of us. How do we only have just like two centre backs at the club? Well, you know what I'm going to be doing in this window? It's getting a better centre back again. Why not use our Manchester United connection and sign a former Manchester United player in Teden Mengi? Can we afford him though? That's the real question. Also, I think it, it's worth checking if there are any cheeky good free agents. Let's see. I really don't think our luck's in. None of the free agents look particularly exciting. Mengi should fit in our budget unless Manchester United ask a ridiculous amount. And now we can actually sign players from a league above us. So we can sign Premier League players. They don't mind moving down to the championship. We're going to start 2.7 million pound offer for Mengi. That'll leave us with good cash to work on other players. 3.1 works for me. Wow. So Mengi wants more cash. I think I underestimated how much we have to pay him. Take two for getting Mengi. And this time, 2.7 million works. So it's actually helped us out. Let us go ahead and get that contract sorted. Important squad role for him, which he's willing to accept for your deal. Let's make that five a bit easier for ourselves. We'll give us, we'll give him literally the same. Oh no, he's, he's asked for pretty reasonable wages, you know. There you go. 15.5 works for me. Let's go. We've signed Mengi from Man United. All right, let's put him instead of Mr. Cashin. Uh, where's he gone? Mengi. There you go. The back line is looking good. Trying to sign this right back, but I don't think we've got enough money. And here the financial problems of Derby County are being witnessed, I guess. Gonna try and put in Nathan Byrne in this deal. A right back for a right back. 3 million as well added on to the deal. Is that good enough? It is. 3.2 million. 17% sell-on clause. Works for me. That's a big upgrade. He's only 21 as well. You love to see that. Important squad role for him. Five-year deal. Watford, by the way, are getting relegated as well so kind of makes sense signing and we'll give him roughly the same wage as he's earning at Watford there you go done all right that's what our team's gonna look like for this season and Gakia and Mengi were our two signings a bit of a downgrade in the keeper position but I'm hoping Lozano the academy player can really grow into a better player we've got Bullock up top he can hopefully carry the team let's see how we fare in our first season in the championship yo you know what I can't complain I didn't expect this we finished fourth in the championship we're gonna have to go through the playoffs and that's not too bad I I didn't expect this. I thought we'd be a mid-table club with our keeper being low-rated and everything. Fair play. Did we do anything miraculous in the cups? Don't think so. Nah, that was that was never going to happen, was it? Before we see what the playoffs are, look at the team. Look at the team. Our fullback and Garkia doing well. Bukinen doing well. Wilmot and Mengi also. Love our CDMs. Knight, look at him, 77. Sibley, 77. Yo, the growth's been amazing. It is now the playoffs, folks, and we've drawn Nottingham Forest. So a two-leg game again them. If we're going to secure back-to-back -back promotions, we need to get through Nottingham Forest first. Can we get a result in the first leg? We can. Looks like we're on our way to the playoffs final. The second leg should just be a cakewalk. Well, it wasn't. It was close, but it's enough to send us through. And we're up against Bournemouth, who, by the way, in real life, have secured promotion to the Premier League. Bournemouth's not going to be an easy game at all. Can we beat them and make it to the Premier League? Oh my god, this is stressful. And let's go. We get through the final playoff game and we've secured promotion to the Premier League. It's 3-1 against Bournemouth and it's done. We're going to the Premier League. Let's go! 
I'm surprised how Lawrence has been top scorer this season as well. Bullock, you need to be scoring more, mate. But again, phenomenal numbers. Lawrence has been the man. First season in the Premier League with Derby County. This is going to be exciting. I can already see a few players that are going to be mainstay for us in this safe place. Like Sibley, Bilek, Bird. I think they're going to be here for a long time. Knight as well. Bullock, Ngakia, Mengi, Wilmot. So we've built a very, very good base. It's all about adding to it. I think this season, I want to bring in a better left midfielder as good as Lawrence is he's 29 if we can improve upon that that'd be great I want to also sign a new keeper but I'm thinking for now we keep Alsop because I just want to see if Lozano can be the man for us we'll give him one season to see his player growth and then decide oh boy 24 million to spend now we're talking we can bring in a good left midfielder with that Dwight McNeil is the player I want for that left midfield position I think he fits with what we're trying to build and the good news contract expiring in 12 months that's the only way I think we can afford for him because this is going to cost us our entire budget for the most part. All right, let's see if we can pull this off. I'm going to go in with a cheeky 22 million pound offer to see what Burnley say. They're willing to accept 22.3. I'm taking it. That's a steal. Dwight McNeil is good. Our first 80 rated signing. Can't believe I'm signing a player from Burnley, man. But trust me, McNeil is class. 23 years old, 80 rated. He's going to go far for us. We'll remove that 15 gold bonus. Submit offer. Reckon he should accept that. There you go. Done. We've just signed Dwight McNeil from Burnley. Not gonna lie, we have a squad now. I love that midfield. The attack, the defense is good. It's just the keeper position giving me a bit of anxiety. But let's get through this season and see where we can finish in the Prem. We gotta avoid relegation. That's the bare minimum. 14th in our first Premier League season. You know what? I'll take it. Not relegated. We can build from this. And certainly we've built well because look at the overalls on some of our players. Simply up to 79. Bullock up to 87. Knight's looking good. We've got an 80 rated centre back. Goalkeeper position. And I think we'll need to upgrade on that in case we want to do better. As good as Lozano is looking like, I'm not sure if he's the man for the job. Regardless, we'll work on it. Who were the stars of the show this season? Bullock scored 16 times in the Premier League. He's looking like an absolute baller. McNeil as well. New signing and he's getting it done. Let's get into season four and just keep building. I think it's about time we get rid of Alsop and bring in a better keeper. Got a few ideas. Let's try and make it work. Probably our entire budget this season is going to go on a keeper. Certainly wanted to be English. So I'm thinking, what about Dean Henderson? 27. Fits in our budget just about. Oh, I don't think it's possible, guys. He's 83 rated and we'll have to pay a big premium on him. I don't think this is happening. Maybe we offer him Alsop, but they're just probably going to be like, who? So I, I don't think this is happening. Let's offer 26 million plus Alsop. What are they going to say? Yeah, we're, we're not affording this. We're not affording this. What about 31 million? Nah, this isn't happening. What about someone like Ramsdale? I think that would be an amazing signing as he's 85 rated. That's surely not happening. Call me crazy, but I wouldn't mind signing Kepa, you know. 29 should do the job. If we can get him on a reasonable price, that wouldn't be too bad of a signing, you know. He's 83 rated, by the way. Plus, it could allow the other goalkeeper we've got a, a bit of room to grow. Let's offer 21 million plus Alsop. Good deal. Wolves, please. Okay, they're willing to work with us. We're gonna have to pay a hefty sum, but that's fine. This works for me, you know. 25 million, let's say, plus the 1 million that Alsop will get them. They still want 31. That'll be a bit too expensive, man. Let's counter with 27. Leave us with a bit of cash at least. That's gonna be my counter. Oh my god, they're just not accepting anything less. What about 28.5? At least work with that, folks. Please, finally. I'm about to sign a meme keeper, literally. Kepa is now a Derby County player. I don't think I ever thought I would be signing Kepa in any of these fixing challenges. But hey, that's our goalkeeper position sorted for the season. Alright, boys, with the new keeper, I think we should be doing much better in the Prem this season. Let's see how this goes. I think we should be pushing for top 8 this season. 83 rated keeper should help us out tremendously. Yo, we just beat Man City 3-0. Derby County 3-0 against Pep Guardiola City. This season's about to be a good one. Top 8 is what I asked and we finished 6th. We'll take it. I think we might be in the Conference League, sadly. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. But 6th in the Prem, we take that and we move. Cup competitions, nothing in particular but not bad at all. Steady progress fourth season in and we're nearing being a champions league club oh look at the growth look at the growth in some of the players to be fair it has slowed down a little bit Bullock's injured which is not good but he's up to a 90 overall how about that stats wise Bullock didn't really do all that much you know that's a bit of an L a uh, McNeil he's a baller I told you he's amazing all right then we're heading into season five with this team I think we need to start upping the budget making some bigger signings 
We're five seasons in and our transfer budget is still just 37 million. This, this challenge is tough, man. We're not getting the money we, I think, need to transform this club. Anyways, need to improve this team. And the only way I see we get an improvement is probably with a better left back and maybe even a center back. Need to get to work. How is Levi Colville available for free? This guy's got 84 potential. That's our center back problem solved without even spending a penny. I mean, not really. We still need to give him, like, you know, a contract and everything. But this works in our favor. We can spend a good chunk of money then on the left back. Perfect, man. Th this offer is brilliant. Is his overall super low? Then it would kind of be a bit of a waste, you know. But let's see. He is 76 rated. Oh, that's a bit of an L, but fine. It's fine. To be honest, though, we still got him for free. That's a class center back to get for squad depth and everything. Look at that. Stop a plan and I think we'll be balling out with him. All right, here we go. Tyrick Mitchell is the player I want to sign for left back, but do we have enough money to make this happen? Not entirely sure. An 82 rated left back will be very, very useful, guys. It's not going to be easy to pull this off. I'm going to start with 26 million as my first offer. Yep, we're not pulling this off. He's just too expensive. We'll try 30 million, but this is virtually our final offer. Yeah, that's that's just not working. Let's try 31. Nope, we can't afford him. We can't afford him. We'll have to maybe sell a few players. Let me try. We're almost on transfer deadline there. Tried my best to generate some money. We're up to 35 million. Is that going to be enough to sign Mitchell? I don't know. We'll have to just see. Sold a couple of players to make this happen. Let's hope it works. Let's start with 26 million again for Mitchell. Okay, this time they counter with 31. This is possible. I think we're going to be signing him, guys. But let's still try and save a bit of cash because you know we love to save a bit of cash. This time, 28.5 million works for him. All right, let's give him uh, the crucial squad role because he's going to be first choice for us. He's 82 rated. Let's get him to a five-year deal because why not? No release clause as well. We'll give him the same wages as he earns at Juventus. Job done. We've signed an 82 rated left back. The best part about this is Bukinen can go on the bench and now we're looking at a very very strong bench with every player above the overall of 70. I like that. The first team's looking amazing. Let's see what we can achieve this season. It's also confirmed we're in the Europa League this season so I'm interested to see how we fare in that competition. Why are we up against Real Madrid in the Europa League? How are they in the Europa League? And of course we get knocked out by them. Let's go boys. Fourth in the Premier League. That means for the first time in this fixing challenge challenge. In season six, we're going to be the Champions League with Derby County. We've worked so hard in building this team and now the rewards are paying out. Do we do well in the cup competitions? I don't think so. We're yet to win like a major trophy as such. Bit of an L. How do we do in the Europa League? I know we got out against Madrid, but was that in the quarterfinals? No, it was. It was in the round of 16. Okay, fair enough. Oh boy, look at that draw. Bullock is 92 rated. Wow, that is insane. I expect the Champions League money. With that, we can really improve this team, but look at the growth all round. We're not far off from building a Champions League winning team, I'm not gonna lie. And look at Bullock, top scorer, 22 goals. Love it. We're in the Champions League this season and we get 75 million to spend. That's how the first team's looking like. I like it, man. We've got an unbelievable striker, a solid midfield, but I feel that's where we need to get maybe a bit of an upgrade. So I'm thinking we skip spend big money on a midfielder in this window. Yep, let's do that. Bubakar Kamara could be the man for for the job. 86 rated. I think he'll add a lot to our team, but do we have the cash to sign him? That's the real question. He could be really expensive. Let's start with 56 million for this 86 rated CDM. That's a deal. 65 and a half million. I'm taking it. Can't believe we're about to sign a player from Bayern Munich and there you go. The deal is done. That's one hell of a signing. We're going to put him right into our team. All right. I think he gets in ahead of Bird and let's put him in there. Then Bird can go on as the bench. We're looking good, man. Let's go. I think we need like a backup striker. If we get that, I think we're sorted for this season. How much money do we have left? 10 million. Maybe a free agent? Let's see. All right. Are there any good free agent strikers? You just never know. Found this guy, Sergio Camello. He actually looks pretty good, man. We just need someone to be on the bench just in case. I think he's the man. Predicting him to be like 72, 73 rated. I wouldn't mind a signing like that at all. Seems like decent wage demands as well. We're signing up right now. There you go. Easy. 79 rated. That's a lot better than I expected. We're going to slap him on the bench. And I think we're ready for this season. There's squad depth as well. Our first season in the Champions League. I'm positive it's going to go down well. Our first run out in the Champions League. And look at that. We finished above Bayern in the, in the group stages. That's unreal. We're facing Midgey Land or Mystery Land. Whatever you want to call this team. Our luck's in. Are we the dark horses this season already? To be honest, I look at my team with a 93 rated striker. With a decent midfield. A 90 rated McNeil. It's possible. Here we go, boys. Our Champions League run begins now. All right. 
right, let's see. First leg against Midgieland, and we should be getting this one done easily. How is it a 3-3 draw? Nah, man, we can't get knocked out at this club. Like, nah, please, please no, please no. There you go, drop down in the second leg. Honestly, our luck's in this season. We've avoided all the big teams, and it's Fenerbahce. That's such an easy run to the semis. All right, here we go. Derby County versus Fenerbahce. First leg, is it going to work in our favor? Only a draw. Second leg, we should still go through. I feel like we're more than good enough to get through in this second leg and that's what happens but it was super tight yep guys our luck has run out um it's psg in uh, the semi-finals not gonna lie i don't think we're surviving this psg are just too good we'll need to be incredibly lucky to get through this one first leg against psg we've actually beaten them what's happening here second leg against psg all we need is like a draw and that's enough that is actually enough instead we beat them 3-1 this is surreal we're the dark horse of the champions league and we've made it to the finals. We've also made it to the FA Cup final. We're playing at Wembley against Arsenal. We win this. That's our first major trophy, FA Cup. Bang! We beat Arsenal for this. Look at that. We're up against Manchester City in the Champions League final. Before that, though, let's find out whether we've won the Prem or not. All right, let's see where we finished in the Premier League. Of course, I believe we're in the top six. Liverpool ninth, Man United eighth, Brentford sixth, Arsenal fifth, Chelsea fourth, Man City third. We've either won the Premier League or finished second. Where are we going to be? We've actually won the Premier League over less than about three points. Derby County in their sixth season of the Prem have just won the Premier League. We've won the FA Cup as well. We're on course for a treble. Absolutely wild, man. This team is nuts. Who are the star performers? I know Bullock must have had a ridiculous season. Look at that. Can't wait to try him out in game. Sibley did well. Look at him. 87 rated. Where did he get this growth from? McNeil 90. Michelle 85. Camelo has been a great super up eight goals lovely night as well kamara i think won't be fit for the final what a shame but that's why we've got bird in the team as well and bailey it's gonna be an interesting final we've managed to get derby county from bankruptcy to a champions league final how insane is that and that's how our team's gonna look like for this champions league final we're ready for this oh need to make the difficulty ultimate boys otherwise where's the fun let's quickly do that there you go look at that man city team alvarez palmer pedri oh boy yo here we go guys champions league final with derby gotta win this I have no intentions of playing through another season we have to do that in the last fixing challenge by the way oh this is bad this is bad phil foden already looking so nice herrera back inside for lavia as man city just getting into the groove here i'm struggling right now i'm really struggling shots taken wilmot with a good block Oh, that was a good challenge from Wilmot. By the way, he's been very impressive. I've never used him before in career mode. So far, it's just been unreal as... Oh, Bullock. That was absolutely world-class. As he keeps going here, tries a roulette, and that was just the wrong direction. But for someone who's 6'5", it's an absolute monster. I could maybe play this one across. That's brilliantly done to find Knight. As he squares this one for Sibley, smashes it, and somehow Edison stops it. We still have it with Bullock, though. Who's doing really well. Still Bullock. The dribbling is unreal. The dribbling is unreal, but the finish slightly lacking. Colwell versus Palmer. This is problems, and Colwell goes down, and Palmer's just having a bit of fun. Nope. No fun for him. Good stuff. Oh, look at that space for McNeil. And he is certainly quick. Here he goes. Away from all challenges. Tries to slot it on, but we have another chance. Edison is a god. How is he stopping everything like that? Now look in Bullock. We know he's got the pace. He's rapid. He could just run through you. And that's exactly what he's done. Left footed shot. Bang, we get the opener. Willock. Did I just call him Willock? Bullock. With potentially a Champions League title winning goal. That was absolutely fantastic. No cap. That was brilliant. The run. I just saw this space and I'm like, yo, this guy's got the pace. He can just run through. And guess what? It worked out wonderfully. We're, we're leading 1-0 against City. You know City aren't giving up. Absolutely not. I took him out there. They've got a chance here. What are we doing, Alvarez? Big save from Kepa. Can't believe we reached the Champions League final with Mr. Kepa in goal. Looks like Phil Foden's picked up a knock there, which... It's good news for us. I mean, he's still running at us with pace. And we've just clattered him right there. But we've managed to cause problems for ourselves here. Foden, Gabriel Jesus with the chance. Big save again from Kepa. Yeah, look at Foden. He's limping, but he's still giving it everything. Well, Knight gets the ball off him. And here he goes. Knight on the charge. And this could lead to something. <laughs> Nope. Phil Foden. I don't like this at all. I've just taken him out right there. Cynical challenge. It's going to be a booking, but 
I think we needed to do that. It was a risk. It was a calculated risk at the end of the game. And they have the worst free kick I think I've ever seen. Here we go. Sibley looking for, of course, Bullock. But it didn't work. But we still have another chance. Look at that. The pressure is on. Here is Bullock. And he's so quick and easy to change directions with. Edison is unreal. This game should be done by now. McNeil with the delivery at the far post. And it was complete waste. But helps us keep the ball. Bird controls it once. Goes for goal. It's fine. Just got to waste time. And it's done. We've just won the Champions League. In fact, the treble with Derby County. I've just gone ahead and fixed, basically, a bankrupt club. And it took us six seasons. That's tremendous. Enjoy the celebrations. That's it for this week's fixing challenge. Let me know what we should do next week. Drop a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you're new around here. Catch you all for the next one. Peace.